थैंक यू शाह साहब फॉर यूर सच अ वंडरफुल शेयरिंग विद अस सो ग्रेजुअली वी आर मूविंग टू वर्ड द नेक्स्ट वॉर दैट इज द लंच सो बिफोर लंच दिस इज द नेक्स्ट प्रजेंटेशन the topic is uh, that the opportunity into the textile industry with reference to the digital uh, transformation uh, for that purpose i'll call on to the stage uh, mr rehan kadri a well known name into the market uh, so uh, mr rehan is the uh, currently director digital business transformation and e-commerce uh, in the leading fashion apparel uh, brand khadi uh, for which you have always called and fighting something into the female area so he has been honored to the uh, global uh, ceo cio 100 think tank and digital edge 50 award for his innovation and excellence so uh, he was acknowledged as the best ceo of the year into the 20s and uh, from the soft uh, pakistan software uh, house association so he is well known uh, worldwide having a good score into the uh, certified in governors so please give a big round of applause to mr rehan kadri so i would uh, request him to come on to the stage and present his thought thank you sir so by the time uh, the presentation is uh, projected here uh, i think thoda sa ek preamble then that will help uh, run my presentation so my background uh, before khadi is mostly financial services right uh, used to work with cdc asiksha was here uh, work with ubl um it is financial services me jo realize ki uh, due one of the factors due to which i moved to uh, the retail and fashion sector aaj uh, subah kyunki kafi is hawale se baat hui one realization uh, i think jab tak wo mamla nahi banta bahut sari just collaboration ki hum baat kar rahe hain ya bahut sari digital transformation ki hum baat kar rahe hain that might not happen uh, bahut zyada us baat se ikhtilaf rai bhi ho sakta hai but uh, before i go to that part and in my presentation i would not talk technology uh, meri koshish ye hogi ki subah se hum bahut sari presentation technology ke bare mein dekh chuke hain so just for the change of flavor i'll not talk technology um, but the people who know me uh, they know that i can talk hours for technology right um, but thoda sa change of flavor uh, one thing uh, before that presentation comes in uh, cloud migration right uh, jitni collaborations ki hum baat kar rahe hain subah ek uh, um, banking ke point of view se bhi baat ho rahi thi single kyc let's say for example unless uh, this collaboration happens uh, unless the transition happens to cloud uh, these transformation cannot come in jo hum dusri baat bhi kar rahe the ki jo startups hain they have uh, that advantage i think one of the best advantage these uh, startups have that they are cloud native and when you move to cloud you don't have any option don't have any option ki aap दस साल पुरानी टेक्नोलॉजी पर रह जाए यू डोंट गेट दैट ऑप्शन सो बार दफ़ा आपको प्रोग्रेस करने के लिए ज़बरदस्ती की भी ज़रूरत होती है सो आई थिंक फॉर द सेशन एंड क्योंकि बहुत सारे लोग यहाँ अवेलेबल भी हैं तो जस्ट जस्ट एन एग्जाम्पल बिफोर आई जॉइन खादी आई यूज टू वर्क विद यू बी एल इट टुक मी एंड एंड आई वॉज वर्किंग विद यू बी एल फंड नॉट बैंक सो इट टुक मी अयर जस्ट टू क्रिएट a business case or seek the approval to move only one service to cloud just one service moving to cloud it took me one year bahut sare risk assessment bahut sari uh, uh, assessment and i could easily match ke jo on prem ka risk assessment hai the movement to cloud the risk assessment the risk score is much much better than what's happening in on on prem right number 1 and when i moved to uh, this business um, because before i go into that presentation before i moved to khadi uh, i moved to khadi in may 2017 right and may 2017 i formed it steering committee meeting there uh, it steering committee there 31st may 2017 uh, we presented the case for cloud bahut kharcha hona tha on prem bahut sari investment ho gayi thi but we we were able to present and it's not rocket science i can easily claim anyone can anyone can discuss and we can create a business case for cloud not not rocket science 
we presented the case for business cloud uh, for moving to cloud to the may 2017 we initiated the journey february 2018 khadi was a 100% cloud based organization uh, since may 2018 we have not invested a single penny uh, on any on prem technology or any hardware piece right so with that preamble i'll go next kaash kaisa ho jata काश के डिजिटल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन किसी बॉक्स के जरिए आ जाती या डिजिटल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन किसी क्लाउड सॉल्यूशन के जरिए आ जाती इट्स नॉट हैपनिंग इट हैज नॉट हैपेंड इट वुड नॉट हैपन दीज आर जस्ट द रिसोर्सेज ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ व्हिच यू इनकलकेट और क्रिएट दैट ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन राइट सो पहली तो हमने ये कन्फेशन मान लिया कि अगर किसी का ख्याल ये है कि आप क्लाउड पे माइग्रेट हो जाएंगे या कोई एक बड़ा सोफिस्टिकेटेड सा अप्लाइंस लगा लेंगे या कोई बॉक्स लगा लेंगे एंड इट वुड इनिशिएट योर क्लाउड योर डिजिटल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन जर्नी दैट इज नॉट गोइंग टू हैपन अच्छा ये डिस्कस करना बहुत जरूरी है बिकॉज बहुत सारी चीजों की डेफिनेशन हर बंदे के जहन में बिल्कुल अलग अलग होती है सो द बेसिस ऑन विच आई अंडरस्टैंड डिजिटल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन द बेसिस ऑन विच वी कैन डिलीवर वैल्यू थ्रू डिजिटल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इज दिस सो आई हैव हाईलाइटेड रेडिकल री थिंग सुबह भी बात हो रही थी कि किसी प्रोसेस को पेपर से इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मैकेनिज्म पे कन्वर्ट कर देना इज नॉट अ डिजिटल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन राइट सो यू हैव टू रेडिकली बिल्कुल पूरा बिजनेस मॉडल्स चेंज हो जाते हैं आई शो यू हाउ दो बिजनेस मॉडल्स गेट कैन गेट चेंज सो फर्स्ट अंडरलाइन इज टू हैव अ रेडिकल री थिंग नॉट जस्ट के यार इस चीज को ऐसे करते थे अब ऐसे कर लें एक्सेल पे करते थे ई आर पे ले आए ई आर पे करते थे पावर बी पे ले आए so uh, that has to be a radical rethink otherwise it's just something which every uh, it professional has to do for the organization shayad yahan bahut zyada acche tarike se present nahi ho raha but uh, in my experience of delivering digital transformation for many organizations the key piece to jo aapko bada lafz nazar aa raha hai wo people nazar aa raha hai dusra jo chhota lafz nazar aa raha hai wo process nazar aa raha hai third part is technology might not be that visible uh, in that sense but at least my belief is that technology is the least least important part of digital transformation or the most easiest part of digital transformation the most difficult part of any digital transformation that happens is people uh, process until and unless that part gets sorted uh, technology to itni aa gayi ki aapne sirf haath rakhna hai and if you move to cloud you you have to just pick and choose from the 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 many available and just uh, configure everything right so the difficult part or the most difficult part is people aise business transformation or digital transformation ka kya fayda jisme ek ek kad jaye aur koi business outcome evident business outcome na nazar aaye so for me uh, a digital transformation is something which is evident bolne se zahir na ho which is evident as part of your business life cycle and i can guarantee i am experiencing that khadi mein there is no it budget my budget is unlimited main koi kisi saal ka koi budget nahi banata so when business gets to know that this is the value that technology can add we deliver that value we get more budget we deliver that value we get more budget right so there is no budget in uh, khadi for it at least so so as as i said the difficult the most difficult part of any digital transformation is people and the people form the culture right uh, that's why this is mckinsey's uh, survey and mckinsey also identified that the most most difficult or the most important part or the most uh, challenging part of any digital transformation is the culture part uh, the people part right so पीपल पार्ट इतना डिफिकल्ट क्यों है वाई द टेक्नोलॉजी इज इजी प्रोसेस शॉर्ट ऑफ मैनेजेबल वाई द पीपल पार्ट इज सो सो डिफिकल्ट इन एनी काइंड ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन वो डिजिटल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन हो वो बिजनेस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन हो वो कल्चर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन हो वाई द पीपल पार्ट इज दैट डिफिकल्ट ओनली दिस थ्री वर्ड्स आई ऑल्सो हेड चेंज वेन एवर समथिंग चेंजेस रमजान में आपका सोने का टाइम उठने का टाइम ऑफिस जाने का टाइम यू गेट टू नो फ्रॉम योर हार्ट के यार कुछ चेंज हो रहा है मजा नहीं आ रहा सो दिस इज द ह्यूमन साइकी दैट वेन एवर द चेंज हैपन्स ये दिस इज 
built into us that whenever something changes, we resist that change. And whenever this first blocker is there, you cannot go forward. So until and unless you, uh, you take this out of equation, you cannot go forward, right? So pehla part to yoga. So I, I very much like this book. Uh, at least those who this process, uh, they should go through uh, this book. So this book identifies the people aspect of that digital transformation journey, right? Uh, so the writer identify that there are four types of people in the organization, at least in very broad categories, uh, classify. The most difficult the easiest part is those digital native who digital is not a change. Digital is part and parcel of life. Don't go to change any owner. So, just go change any owner. What to is this per is this karega ke manual processes make you jaro. So, the, the new generation that is coming in, jo buddy collaborative hai, buddy agile hai, buddy digital native hai, I think my son is more aware of ke yaar Instagram me kya kya features hai, Facebook in the kya kya features hai, and he tells me ke yaar apko yeni pata ke yaar ye SMB ho sakta hai. So, they are. Digital native. Un logo ke liye bada mushkil hoga. In fact, when you go 10, 15 years down the road, shayad dusre kisam ka change mushkil ho jayega. Digitalization would be the demand. Ke iske bagar to chare hi nahi hai. But since we are in a time period where we have to manage all this population, so pehla part to is easy. Un ke liye to ye nativeness hai. Un ke liye there is no change. But there are three different kind of people you will have to work with in a very different way. Her bande ke saath, her uh, stakeholder ke saath, you cannot use a similar strategy. So there are old timers. Old timers ka matlab ye hai ki jo ek tarike se 20 saal, 25 saal ek hi tarike se kaam karte hue aare. And jab aap uh, 20 saal, 25 saal ek hi tarike se kaam karte hue aajate hain, uh, your belief uh, increases day by day ki yar kaam karne ka tarika to yehi hai. Iske alawa koi kaam karne ka tarika nahi hai. Kal ke bache aage inko kya pata ki ye uh, closing kaise hoti hai, audit kaise close kiya jata hai. Yeah, procurement kaise hoti hai. So they would always remain in uh, their uh, mindset. When you go challenging, it would become difficult. So you have to go collaborative. Uh, you have to learn from them based on their experience and you have to deliver a quick win. I have to deliver some solutions ki bhi aa jata hon, ke how at least on a very broader level uh, we can sort of cater for this people challenge, right? So um, since time is short, I will not go into uh, the details but these three classifications. Kuch log hain jinho ne jo likh diya gaya hai, jo bata diya gaya hai, jo boss ne kaha hai, waisa hi karunga. Duniya upar se niche ho jayegi, aisa tha, to aisa hi hoga, iske alawa change hi ho sakta. So you have to deal with these kind of people differently because when you bring up a change, jis ne paanch bajay sab kuch band karke nikal jana hai, usse agar aap ye kahe anytime, anywhere, to, to duniya hi tabah ho jani hai uske. So, so, and you can understand what kind of resistance that can come in when you give your everything in everyone's palm. Usko pata hai ke bhai, mein to 5 baje sab kuch band hiya to uska matlab 6 baje bhi mein kuch kar raunga, 12 baje bhi kuch kar raunga. So, so you have to manage all these kind of people. Empathy is the key, right? Uh, jab tak aap jisko change karne ja rahe hain, uske oopar kya impact aana hai, uh, wo nahi manage karte, uh, you will not be able to break that barrier, right? So anyone who has to bring in that digital transformation has to be very transparent that what change in the world So you have to identify the change up front. This fear that when we have told you that what change in the world is going to happen, then we will start fighting from today. So we start making changes and we lose the interest of everyone. So we have to be very transparent that what will happen in the world is going to happen. And uh, Empathy ka matlab ye hai ki aapne har bande ke shoes mein ja ke ye sochna hai ki usko kaise change karna hai, right? So I'll just go from first part to the last three parts, right? Uh, everyone can read this uh, very self-explanatory, but the first part hai, wo connect hota hai, at least my experience. Change resist karne ka sabse bada reason kya hai? At least if we talk about digital transformation, change resist karne ka sabse bada reason is fear. Fear of what? Fear of going outdated. Jo change resist karta hai, uska sabse bada fear ye hota hai ki jab ye kaam ho jayega, I'll be outdated. When I'll be outdated, then it's a fight for survival. Or insaan ki jo zehn Allah taala ne jis tarah banaya hai, whenever my mind feels that I have a threat from this person or this activity, 
my reflexes, everything intentionally or unintentionally will start fighting against that. Right? So, first of all, we ensure that this change is coming, until we ensure that we will not do this, that you will You would not be replaced. You would be trained, you would be trained again, you would be trained again, you would be trained again, until unless you are ready to go into that battle. Until unless you are ready to go, that, go to that fight. Unless we do it, if we have to think that this change will come, uh, transformation will happen. And I'll show you a case study. You will have a very clear idea that how uh, that worked, right? I'm going to go case study, pe jata hun, then uh, I think it would be more. So, I'll show you some, I think, sneak peeks from the, the experiences, uh, transformations we delivered in Khadi. I'll go through that in next 5 to 10 minutes and then probably it's a lunch. So, it all starts from here. हमने बात की पीपल को चेंज करना है सबसे मुश्किल बंदा जिसको चेंज करना होता है वो वो होता है जिसने उस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को हेड करना है सो दिस इज शमून सुल्तान ही इज सी ऑफ खादी एंड ये जो पोज है इनका एवरी बोर्ड मीटिंग एवरी स्टेयरिंग कमेटी मीटिंग एवरी मीटिंग दिस इज हाउ इट हैपेंस सो ही हैज हिज लैपटॉप इन फ्रंट ऑफ हिम and he was the one ऑफ द फर्स्ट पर्सन वी सोल्ड दैट डिजिटल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन जर्नी टू अनटिल अनलेस ही इज सोल्ड Nothing can change, right? So every people in the organization you have to change, right? Two-factor authentication आनी है सबसे पहले इनके पास two-factor authentication लगाई फिर बाकी सब लोगों के पास लगाई। So so the the way the meeting used to happen were कि मेरा एक experience है board में दूसरे लोग बैठे हैं उनका business के बारे में कुछ experience है and the decision making is happening. Since last three years शाहब ने भी जिस तरह बात की we are very sort of aggressive users of Power BI platform and other BI platforms. So, he only has this laptop in front of him in every meeting. He doesn't have to ask any question from anyone. Kal ki kitni sale hui, kal ka gross margin kitna tha, product ki cost kitni thi, everything. So, so we have developed our own, own patented uh, intellectual property which we call Bazooka on Power platform. Bazooka, the name came from him as well because he has that capability to ask questions. CEO का काम है questions पूछना और एक decision making को inculcate करना. So the first thing is it all started from here. This is the first people person who got converted into and पता नहीं लोग जानते हैं नहीं जानते. It's very non techy kind of a person. Fairly fairly business oriented kind of a person. But ultimately moved and he cannot leave this bazooka now. Right day in day night. That bazooka is, is his life, right? Achha, yahan pe jane se pehle, jis tarah maine train, train, train ki baat ki, uh, to Khadi is a design house, right? Uh, a fashion house. Or uh, I'm not sure aap mein se kisi, uh, kisi ka vaastah raha ke Pakistan mein fashion kis tarah padhaya jata hai. So fashion universities bhi, uh, they teach you by sketching. Ke yaar aapko fashion designing, you have a piece of paper, you sketch uh, the, the fashion and then फिर वो मास्टर के पास जाता है, फिर उसका पैटर्न बनता है, फिर उसका कपड़ा प्रिंट होता है, then this is the life cycle. Even universities इसी तरीके से पढ़ाती हैं। तो जाहिर है जो जो पाकिस्तान का सबसे बड़ा फैशन हाउस है, उसके पास भी जो पापुलेशन है, वो भी वैसी ही है। So when I first visited Khadi, there is a full floor where there are tables, जहाँ पे डिजाइनर्स जो हैं, उनके पास पेपर शीट्स ह� फिर उसके कट होते हैं, फिर चार पांच साइकल्स चलते हैं, फिर एक कोई पीस निकल कर आता है। So no one in that floor had even seen any kind of a technology work with a computer even. These kind of people, right? So what we did, जिस तरह मैंने पहले बात की, when we समा, so when we initiated this change that we have to move to technology for certain business benefit, right? वो मैं आपको थोड़ा सा वो भी एक्सप्लेन करूँगा। So one thing was कि यार ये जो पुरानी खेप है जितने पुराने डिजाइनर्स हैं वो तो नहीं सीख सकते टेक्नोलॉजी सो लेट्स गेट अवे विद दोस लेट्स ब्रिंग इन न्यू पापुलेशन एंड देन उनको फिर टेक्नोलॉजी सिखाते हैं बट व्हाट वी डिड वी क्रिएटेड अ टीम ऑफ ऑल दिस फोर काइंड ऑफ पीपल जो मैंने आपको पहले बताया and we trained them. Uh, the teams came from USA. Uh, the software we uh, picked from USA. The teams came from uh, US. Came here. In fact, Movin Pick may we mul did multiple sessions and we trained those. और मैं थोड़ा सा आपको उसका आउटकम बताता हूँ कि वो लोग जिन्होंने शायद कंप्यूटर पे हाथ भी नहीं लगाया था, दिस डिजाइनर्स आर डिलीवरिंग दिस मैजिक। 
आवाज नहीं वॉइस नहीं For years, Kadi has been a prominent brand in their home country of Pakistan, as well as in the Middle East and Europe. When we met them, they were planning to expand into new markets, and we saw an opportunity to help them achieve their goal by introducing digital design and development to their studio. So previously, all our fashion pattern making was done manually, where the designer was. Plotting it themselves, cutting the paper patterns, and then it would go for production. And we saw a lot of fit issues, grading issues, because when you work manually, it differs the hand of the designer. So you know, small little minute differences were coming in your fit and your grading. So when we were introduced to Tuka Tech, which is a digital patterning technology, it was very challenging for us as a design team. to a firstly embrace it but when we did we saw what a huge difference it makes to the process where there is no hand cutting involved there is no manual patterns involved everything is digitalized uh, everything is made on the computer to the right size the right fit the right grading is happening and it makes the production and uh, the people there their lives much simpler because they have digitalized patterns to work on and um, it eliminates the human margin of error that occurs when you manually make patterns so it's been wonderful for us to um, have the ability to work with such technology and really educate our designers in what is happening in the world of fashion and it's sort of elevated us as a company that we are using now the right procedures and right technologies to for our fit for our gradings everything to be more correct and precise for our consumer the real beauty of the process is cloud empowered collaboration so until unless your internal people change you cannot pass on the benefit of that transformation to your customer full stop तो अगर मैं कोई ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन करना चाह रहा हूँ जिससे मैं अपने रिटेल कंज्यूमर्स को मैं अपने कॉपरेट कंज्यूमर्स को मैं अपने कस्टमर्स को इम्पैक्ट करना चाह रहा हूँ अनटिल एनलेस द पीपल इन साइड द हाउस चेंज एम्ब्रेस दैट टेक्नोलॉजी एम्ब्रेस दैट ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन दट द बेनिफिट ऑफ द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन कैन नॉट पास ऑन टू योर कंज्यूमर राइट सो सो दिस इज जिस तरह मैंने अपनी डिजिटल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन की जब मैंने आई गेव यू द डेफिनेशन Until and unless it's creating a business impact or business value, फिर वो शशका है और कुछ नहीं right? Uh, so paper footprint to 50% percent reduce for khadi for a volume like khadi, this two percent is uh, just two months of investment in technology. So जो technology आपने लगाई उसका ROI came in two months, right? हंड्रेड परसेंट डिजिटल डिजाइन क्लाउड बेस दिस सोल्यूशन इज अ क्लाउड बेस सोल्यूशन सो एक बेनिफिट भी है उसका कि जब वी मूव टू दिस कोविड सिचुएशन नो इम्पैक्ट ऑन खादी द डिजाइनर्स कैन वर्क फ्रॉम होम द आउटकम्स कंटिन्यू राइट वन मंथ रिडक्शन इन लीड टाइम इज ह्यूज सो अगेन अ कंपेटिटर अगेंस्ट अ कंपेटिटर विच ब्रिंग समथिंग और नंबर ऑफ डिजाइन आफ्टर अ मंथ यू ब्रिंग ऑल दो डिजाइन बिफोर अ मंथ बिफोर Ultimately, you get that competitive advantage, right? So again, मुझे क्योंकि इशारा हो चुका है कि I have to conclude. I'll just move on to the last video and then I'll conclude. So uh, again, this is a case study by Microsoft. बहुत सारी चीजें ऐसी होती हैं जिसके लिए आपको बहुत कोई लंबी चौड़ी investment करने की जरूरत नहीं होती है जिसके लिए आपको कोई business case बनाने की जरूरत नहीं होती So moving into a cloud, moving into cloud, you get that benefit. You just pick and choose कि यार मेरे इस process के लिए what tool would work. You pick and choose what tool would work. so power platform is one such thing where you don't have to go for a very huge investment do lots of coding and just roll out business processes right acha ab iska ek main aapko part dikhaya wo jiska people impact hai now the impact of technology on consumers right uh, uh, i'm not sure how many of you visited khadi's experience hub in dolmen mall jisne nahi visit kiya and if they want to see uh, the impact of technology in action At least visit that store once. मैं आपको थोड़ा सा उसका sneak peek दिखा देता हूँ but uh, you'll get the fair idea of how technology can change everything. You'll get the idea by visiting that store. Uh,
the learnings that came from business intelligence, computer vision. So we, we track customer routing in the store, ke customer kahan ja So all this information that we collected from all these data insights, we implemented into this store. The store was designed based on that data. And all Khadi store will be designed based on that data. So ultimately, that Im the, the impact that created from the designer who creates the product, ultimately that uh, impact is delivered in the store. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, such a wonderful ending. Thank, uh, kindly stay on to the stage uh, for the shield. Uh, I would like to call uh, Mehzad uh, uh, for uh, come on to the stage and present shield to the uh, Rehan, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, now the next thing is, uh, let's make a memory. So I would call everybody uh, come into the stage and let's make uh, uh, two or three line a group photo. So I love to all you people have here in a disciplined way. So let's have a group photo for the session because after lunch, a number of the people will uh, not be available. They will be leaving. So let's make a memory. So come to the stage, please. Thank you.